Hello, I'm Rosella from Stitching in the Moment and welcome back to my craft room this afternoon. Today, I'm going to make this lovely little coaster. Um, pretty backing. It's a Sashko Sakura pattern and I think it's really pretty. So do join me, maybe stitch along and let's have a bit of fun. I'm going to begin by tracing my design. So I've got a piece of fabric here. I'll measure that for you one moment. Uh, around nine inches squarish, just so that I've got a bit of room around the edge. And I'm just going to begin by tracing the design. Now, this is one of my favourite designs uh, for the template. It's Sakura, the cherry blossom. And I think actually tracing the designs, relaxing as well as the stitching of this. Quick designs to trace. Quite like actually, just the petalish I'm doing would make a nice leaf design as well. quite windy outside my craft room today if you can hear sort of clattering that's branches on the roof and the walls but it's nice and sunny it's cold but bright so that's lovely Bowser's has gone inside he's too cold he's been in and out like a yo-yo all morning he's got a lot to say to people when they come past the house move slightly. Great thing about these templates is if you do move them, they're really easy to line back up again. I've just noticed actually that they've got the uh, centre lines on them as well, so if you're using a patterned fabric, which would be really pretty, then they're going to be easy to line up for that. I think if you're a quilter, this would be a really nice design for hand quilting, wouldn't it? Oops, Daisy, it's moved again. Now, these templates do have little holes. They're for your fingers. Maybe I ought to start using them. The fabric I'm using is a sash coat fabric um, in the traditional indigo colour. It does move a bit under the template if you're not careful. The marker that I'm using is water um, erasable, so it doesn't matter if I get it in the wrong place as long as I don't stitch where I don't want to stitch. That's great. I'm ready to stitch. I'm going to stitch this design in one thread um, for no other reason than actually that's what I fancy doing. So I'm beginning with a knot and um, I've not looked again at where I'm supposed to start stitching this. So I think, uh, I think I'm going to go out, in, up, down. That would seem sensible, wouldn't it? Out, in, oh, yeah, okay. So, the outer line of a petaled start. I could do with some relaxing music on here, couldn't I? I'm not allowed to play 
music on YouTube. So now I'm smoothing as I go along. Not worrying too much about the length of my stitches. If I see one that's very obviously too small or too large, I might worry about it, but more importantly, just to ensure that I'm enjoying it, basically. And this afternoon, if you're embroidering along with me, I hope you're enjoying it too. We just get to spend a little bit of time for ourselves doing something we enjoy. I'm quite new to Sashko and it only started um, because I was demonstrating it on TV. But I enjoy it, I really do enjoy it, and I like the effect as well. And I love my hand embroidery. If you follow me, you know I stitch every single day anyway. But um, this is very different to my daily stitching. And that's good, isn't it? We should always maybe try something a little different. Just see if we enjoy it. And if we do, it's a bonus. And if we don't, well, we've learned something, haven't we? Oh, I can hear a pigeon. That's lovely. Such a lovely noise. We do have an awful lot of them. Um, but I like pigeons. When I was young, we had one as a pet, Percy, who um, mum rescued because he'd got a broken wing. And then he had a little accident and ended up with a broken leg as well. So he only had one leg, actually, because we had to have it amputated. Um, and it didn't seem to affect him much. And he was um, he was a very happy little chap. And he lived to be really, really old. He was absolutely, absolutely obsessed with mum. There we go. But I just love the noise that they make. Now I've turned across the corner there, there's a little bit of a gap, so just make sure that you've got just a touch loose thread when you, oh God, yeah, you can see that, can't you? Um, just a bit of give. Now I'm gonna make a coaster, aren't I, with this, so when I've stitched all the way around, I'm actually going to put some interfacing on the back just to support my stitches because it's going to be used and it's going to be washed. And this fabric washes really well. The colour doesn't run. I already washed it, so I know that. Uh, another piece with white thread in. If I wash it, can you see where this thread's kind of split a little bit? That'll sort, it, sort itself out when it's washed. Now, ordinarily, I don't like stitching without a hoop and a seat stand, actually, but um, this just does not lend itself to a hoop, and I'm okay with that. It's funny that. Because it's also, the fabric's really thin. I don't mind without a hoop if I'm stitching onto a bit of um, quilt or something. It's got a little bit of body. But ordinarily, I wouldn't just stitch on a single layer of fabric without. 
but I'm happy with this. I think perhaps also it's so very quick. It's very satisfying. It's instant gratification, isn't it? And the thread goes on and on and on. And there we go. So it's all stitched and I'm ready now to go and give it a quick wash and a press and find some interfacing and wadding. I'm going to use it as a coaster so I might see if I've actually got some insulated wadding. Um, yeah, that might be an idea. And perhaps some backing fabric. Back in a moment. Okay, so I've got my laundered design there. I found a little bit of lightweight interfacing which I'm just going to pop on the back of my design here. Let's make sure I've got the right way around. Just to hold my stitches in place and to give them a little bit of support. Let's use a bit of these two tape on. Oh, I've got a cloth there, that'll do. It's a cloth just in case I've got the interface in the wrong way around. I've also got some, um, <laughs> God, it's cool now, the heat resistant wadding, that's it. So I'm just going to use that inside. And I've chosen a really pretty backing fabric. That would be nice and embroidered over, wouldn't it? It's really pretty, that. But it's going to be the back of this, so which would be just as pretty, I'm sure. So I just need now to cut it down. Let's have a look at what sort of size we're thinking of for that. Um, so the design itself is just over, well it's four inches square. So I'm thinking if we send that onto six inches. That'll give us a bit of a seam allowance. I wonder if actually, no, I'm gonna go for six, I think. I can always put a bigger seam allowance if I think it's a bit too large. I can cut it, I can always cut it down, can't I? But I can't actually add to it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. So six inches for the wadding, my front and my back. I'm just gonna go up and cut those. So I've got my design and uh, the wadding, I've actually cut it ever so slightly smaller. It was about five and three quarters. And I'm just gonna pin them together and stitch around the outside on the machine. Let's just line them up. Just use some clips to hold it in place whilst I stitch it. This side, I'm just going to put two together and that's going to remind me to leave an opening, she says with confidence. Okay. And we've got light blue thread on, Let's that'll do. So let's just run down the edge of those. So we'll start on this side. Okay. 
Um, yeah. So it's about a half centimetre seam allowance. Oops. At the top of my sewing machine, sorry about that. It's quite a satisfying noise as it goes through that heat resistant modding, isn't it? Sort of pings. I'm just going to put that second clip back on that side to remind me. some scissors. I'm just going to take the corners off. Okay, <laughs> I stitched half of it. Let's uh, stitch around the corner on that one as well. Not quite sure why I missed that one. got four sides stitched. So let's take the rest of the corners off. I'm just going to get my bone folder and I'll turn it through. Actually I'm going to get rid of those threads first. I'm just going to get in the way. Because I've got this little bit of interfacing on the back of my stitching that's protecting it somewhat whilst I'm turning it through. This is the biggest gap I've left here, is it? So it now needs a good press, particularly on that opening there. And I've got to decide whether to hand stitch that or whether to top stitch it all the way around. I think I'll just hand stitch it actually. That's really pretty, isn't it? That looked really nice with the button. Oh, actually a button on each corner would look nice as well, wouldn't it? Mm, I really rather like that. So let's give it a jolly good press. Just press in this opening. Oh, the blue cotton there needs cutting off. These corners could be a little bit crisper. Actually, that's going to annoy me somewhat. I'm just going to see if we can just get a little bit into those corners, just a touch more. I 
Okay, well, that looks like that's what it's going to be. So it is what it is. But that one is annoying me. I'd have to take a little bit more of the bulk off. I don't want to go through my stitching. Oh, that's better. I might do the same on that one there. Well, that was a bit close. Let's just make sure that's okay. Otherwise, we may well be top stitching it. We'll just be happy with the corners as they are. Seems almost too pretty to actually use as a coaster, doesn't it? So all I need to do now is just slip stitch that opening and find a needle. I had one somewhere, I was stitching with it, wasn't I? Okay, I've got to go off and find a needle now. there we go all done and it's uh, quite nice and padded so it's going to be really nice and I think that's so pretty thank you so much for joining me in my craft room again this afternoon um, I have had a really nice relaxing time I do hope you have too and you can find me on Facebook Rosella's Stitching in the Moment uh, you can find me on Instagram stitching underscore in underscore the underscore moment uh twitter is ella cultural so uh let me know how you get on and do share any projects that you've made as well <laughs>